Most people are sort of accustomed to the type of people that drive up on them that want to play with them. Then there's those real silent type that take in all kinds of information from God. Then they go off, they talk to someone who is non-secular, meaning they have no version of God, no faith, no spirit, and it totally ruins everything they just got told from the Lord. The problem with people today is that they don't want to hear from God. It's interesting that there are movies coming out today that are talking about speaking to God. Where did they get that idea? Who came up with it? Who is the director? Who is the producer? How did they decide that? Is that because indigo children are being produced more and more? As the Lord says, okay, you don't have a gene for God anymore. Let's give a God gene to children. The liars of America don't want to believe that God exists. They want to play in mental health. They want to fuck around people's records. And I got approached today by a girl named Bree. She gave a loving donation to my ministry, which I appreciated. It allowed me to buy some markers to replace the markers that have been stolen from me at night because there's somebody in this community who thinks that my job is to buy things for them to steal. What a lie they've told themselves. The lie these people tell themselves is that I'm in control and you have no rights. What a lie they continue to tell themselves. Bree was nailed immediately for working in nursing, working in mental health, and basically being an analyst or a data person or records person for those people. Let me tell you, the lie she's telling herself is the lie. God doesn't want her in that field. God wants her to be more a part of God. God wants her to be less a part of what she's doing. But if I share that story, am I doing something that lacks confidentiality? Possibly. But at no time was there any construct on my giving her a reading for her money in terms of confidentiality. But still, I can share parts of the conversation because I can remember most of it right now. As of tomorrow, as of the next day, as of next week, I probably won't remember it. But people don't want to hear from God, and that's the crazy thing. If somebody could channel God and tell me something, I would want to sit there and take notes. I would want to record with my video or my audio the voice so that I would have notes for later after I went and got dinner for my children, after I put them to bed. And by the time I got done, I'd be like totally forgotten what I was supposed to be doing there. The Liars of America produce lies. Their lie is, I can do whatever I want as long as I have a team of people to help me do what I want for that person, because I'm in power. Now, if you feel the passion in my voice, it's because I am passionate about human rights. Human rights say, I have rights to myself, you have no rights to me. Even if I offer a conversation to you, you still have no rights to me. But you keep thinking, motherfucker, that you have rights to me. And this is where people get pissed off. It's, if it's happening to them, they're angry. You can't even ask one of my elder siblings, my late elder siblings, one fucking thing about their life without them saying, that's none of your fucking business. Great. Then my life isn't your business either. So get the fuck off me.